This is the same pit. I'm your host, Sean Cole, and welcome to today's edition of the Pit Stop, where you, the pit crew, you guys are the real star of today's show. And I say that all the time, and I mean it from the bottom of my heart because you guys do really make it happen. You're a big part of why we're here talking about it, hanging out with our friends, just talking sim racing. Happy Friday, everybody. Everybody, I hope you had a great week. I hope that sets thing up. Sets thing wow i'm tongue twisted sets things up for a great weekend this weekend and for a lot of people it's a three-day weekend for me not so much i'm gonna work all weekend long um trying to catch up on things so uh very glad that i have a lot of fun things to work on in fact later today uh we will be back live after the pit stop at some point uh doing an installation of the simu cube 2 pro wheel onto my r seat we're gonna get that on the rig believe it or not i have a race tonight but i'm making a wheel change today. That's crazy. That's, I don't know how you guys feel about that, but that's my world. Uh, right when you think you're dialed in, ready to go, change your wheel. Go for it. What the hell? It won't make a big deal, will it? Anyway, in addition to that, I now have a quake shaker on my rig, so it's going to be all sorts of different things when I get to racing tonight, but we're going to get that install on YouTube going uh, before lunch today. So after the pit stop, I'll be still alive on Twitch. Hey, Twitch, thank you, Twitchers, for being here before for the pregame show. And they'll be here for uh, changing the set around and getting everything ready to go live again on YouTube with that mount. So what are you guys up to? Happy Friday, like I said. What's going on sim racing? What have you been doing? What's fun? What's hot? What's worth talking about? And uh, you see our image there. I, you know, that picture, other than the helmet, maybe, on the driver, I don't know if my eye would very instantly detect that, that was even a sim image uh zoomed in like that other than the driver's helmet it looks pretty real to me but that is uh our first story of the day is that ryan diate uh diati diati um sorry ryan if i'm murdering your name he ends the iRacing usac world championship with a fairbury win so it looks like things are all settled up and that oh there's a, a flip over with flames and smoke well i should say dirt and the finals for the 2019 iRacing USAC World Championship presented by Flow Racing. Standings are as follows. David Heilman. Sorry, David, if I murdered your last name there as well. 602 points. We knew he had locked things up. Alex Bergeron in second with 565. James Edens in third with 485. And again, our final winner of that season is Ryan Diate. And I did take down the disclaimer so we can... Uh, talk about more. Hey, Techware, how you doing? How you doing? Welcome to the show. Glad you're here. Everybody out there, be sure to thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't. Be sure to check us out on Twitch at Sean Cole underscore in the pit. We are live there now. It's a different version of the show, uh, but we do some behind the scenes there as well. And again, happy Friday to anybody, anybody joining us late in the show. Dark and rainy. Oh, you know, yeah, exactly. Dark and rainy, John Cheel. It's bliss. It's gaming season. That's exactly what it is. When when I get home from work, so to speak, and it's already dark, it's gaming time all the way. Um, <laughs> cranky. Oh, that is what Twitch is, but we're trying to be the adults on Twitch, I guess. Somebody's got to do it. Bucho, I hope your uh, appointment with your knee went well. And I want to give a shout out. I'm not sure if Brandon's in the audience, but maybe he'll get a chance to see the show. But I want to shout out to uh, Kimber Waters, Get Well. She just recently had a surgery. She's a big fan of the show. And Bucho, I hope everything went well with your knee, not to tell everybody what's going on in your world. I've displayed your laundry for the world, Bucho. Hope all's well, man. Um... And what else is going on? Also in iRacing, Graham Bolin won the E NASCAR iRacing Pro Series at Richmond in overtime. So apparently it took a green-white checkered scenario for him to pull off that win, but he did. Nice-looking paint job on that 41 car, Sparco sponsored. And I was hoping we'd see some standings, which I don't have. Forgive me. Uh, we did see, see Ray Alfalo, four-time champion Ray Alfalo, win last week. And these guys working their way. The Pro Series and iRacing. This is, uh, we, we talked about in the F1 eSport, you have the Pro Series, which is qualifying for the 2020 draft. And then you have the e F1 eSport Series, which we're going to talk about on today's show. Uh, so it's sort of like uh, AAA and Pro. Uh, same thing here. Tr the Pro Series is essentially AAA. This is where the guys are trying to earn their way into the, the e NASCAR Peak Antifreeze Series. 
And uh, so congratulations to Graham Bolin getting himself one step closer to being in that elite group on iRacing. Um, doorstop? <laughs> That's the inside joke of the day on Twitch, doorstop. Um, things we do in reverse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, Black Friday is coming. Yes, Techware. Black Friday. Actually, we have a countdown for Black Friday. Um, kind of, yeah, and you got to kind of think of Black Friday a lot beyond just, uh, and then you got Cyber Monday following as well. But it goes way beyond the things that we know. It's just about everything, <laughs> everything in life is on sale. Um, attention, all German sim racers. Take part in daily hot laps for a chance to win tickets for Le Mans 66. That's the Ford versus Ferrari. Uh, at least the European version of the movie, at selected theaters throughout Germany. So, hey, all you got to do is post some laps in the Aston Martin Challenge, and you could be eligible to win some tickets to that movie, which I uh, got an invite to go to, and I had to turn down because I had a uh, other ob thing going on. Obligation. That sounds bad. Uh, but, yeah, I'm eager to see that movie for sure. R2-D2 will be half price. <laughs> Buy everything. Buy everything. It's coming. Um, MRI coming soon. Oh, that sounds... So you have prolonged un discomfort? That's not cool. You will make... Oh, awesome. Dude, I'm, that, that's good enough right there. That That is a good prognosis, Bucho. All right, so just one day to go. The finalists will battle it out tomorrow to become Logitech G Challenge European Champions. The stream will be live on Saturday afternoon, so follow Logic G Esport Twitch channel at such and such. So I'm at the Project Cars. Uh, I'm sure you'll find all this through the McLaren Shadow page as well. But just a reminder, tomorrow is the day that the showdown is going to go in the European Challenge for Logitech G Challenge. And you can watch that for entertainment on a Saturday. Uh, sneak Peek. Dirt Rally showing off Sneak Peeks. And this is Cape Town RX uh, that you're going to be running if you're running in their series starting November 19th is when this is going to be happening. And it looks like an RX track. Look at that. Look at that. All right. So these are some sneak peek teaser shots from them on what their competition will be in the coming weeks. I know a lot of you guys are getting more into Dirt Rally, it seems. like It seems like the enthusiasm has not weaned off for Dirt Rally 2.0. Uh, it seems like the, the the sneak peek difficult hill climb. Um, is that also coming? Rise of the Challenge, is that what this one is? Did I miss something? Uh, that's available now. But yeah, like I said, I, I'm hearing more and more. I, I have not gone back to Dirt Rally 2.0 in a little bit. In a little bit. Um... That sure looks like Rallycross, yeah. Cape Town RX Rallycross. There you go. Yeah, it has Rallycross in it. Okay, so this, I'm not going to go through it. I'm just going to show you guys, but we could be here all day going through photos of what went on uh, with the F1 Esport Round 3. So this is November 6th. Two days ago is when it happened. We watched the countdown. This is... There is no denying this is the pinnacle when it comes to esport right now. And we can argue and debate and talk about F1 2019 all day long, Codemasters, blah, blah. Yes, all those arguments, all those things are valid points. With that said, with that said, with the affiliation of Formula One at the capacity that they've done it, having a real-life draft, having all of the teams at this point really in it, and even in some cases having representation and affiliations with those teams. It's not just naming, but for example, and you know, we do expect, I'm scrolling through some pictures of everything that went on, and I'm not going to dwell on it because you guys can. Round seven results, here's a uh, winner from the first race, Yarno Opmir, Yoni Tormala, followed by David Toniza, Ten Toniza, Toniza. Um, so that's, that's, uh, they ran three races, round eight, then we have our starting grid, um, and then somewhere around here we have results from shots of all the drivers, 
behind the scenes, and round eight results. Uh, Daniel Berezne, Frederick Rasmussen, Jarno Opmir, David Toniza, Toniza in fourth. And I'm stressing Toniza for another for a reason. Well, here we go, because it looks like after the th second event, Toniza is leading the point by 11-point lead over Rasmussen, Opmir in third. And you'd have to get, look all the way back to seventh to find Brendan Lay, two-time defending champion, having a rough season so far, running in, in seventh. And really with 48 points, I'm assuming probably no longer even has a shot at the title this season, I hate to say. Uh, there might be a scenario where he could. Um, there's one post I was looking for and going through all of these in particular. Uh, maybe it's on a different page that I have. And then here's our round nine results. Berezne having a great weekend, it looks like. Longay, Longet, and Toniza in third. So you can see Toniza, he didn't even win anything uh, in this third round, three races. But he was always on that leaderboard except for one fourth finish. So I don't have an updated after the final round points, but it looks like he's still clearly in the lead and could be this year's champion. Uh, I think one event and a handful of races to go. Um, so yeah, congratulations to him and he's the man to watch and he's an alpha Romeo that's one thing I was saying also why it's why is it the pinnacle number one five hundred thousand dollar prize pool so these guys are racing for you know five hundred thousand dollar purse the winner is going to get a winner's share of that and as of now Berezne of alpha Romeo and one long gate uh I'm sorry that is lead I'm sorry David Teniza of Ferrari driving Ferrari driver academy is the one who's leading in the points and, and you know, on a path to win at this point, it looks like. McLaren also, and this is what I was talking about, the, the different levels of support, but just in the case of McLaren, and of course we know they're all in, but here's Bono and Enzo giving their update after each race. And the other thing is, here's a picture of supporting the team. Who's that? Zach Brown. You know, um, they get the real deal support. It's, a, it's yeah, it is serious money. There's no, and the affiliations of, again, McLaren, Ferrari, Alfa, Mercedes, um, Red Bull. Uh, it, it's it's really quite amazing what they have done with the F1 series. I am, I'm, they are the pinnacle of our sport. They absolutely are. They are the super pro league. They are the Formula One. Right up here from Toro Rosa. Rosso, I can't, I don't know why I can never say their name right. <laughs> Basically talking about how uh, Toniza comes out on the end. Uh, we have team positions here. So one thing we haven't recapped where it looks like we do have updated points here. Uh, or is this? Oh, wait. That's real life. <laughs> I almost suckered. Yes, Lewis Hamilton is leading in the F1 2019 Pro Series event. Um, anyway, all right. Carry on. Carry on. That's what I was looking for. Here we go. Here are the standings after round nine. David Toniza, 146 points. He's increased his lead. He's now a 20 point lead, 26 point lead over Frederick Rasmussen. Yarno Opmir in third with 103 points. Uh, so he's 17 back of second place. And Daniel Berezne, who had a great weekend in fourth, 10, 10 points back of third place and then it's a pretty good gap 33 points back to fifth place in marcel kiefer brandon lay in sixth overall bono who we in seventh overall that's something to really think about um and then our team standings red bull racing esports leading the way quite significantly by the way uh 181 over 146 to ferrari so red bull with let's see our red bull drivers are frederick rasmussen and, you know, it's time we start getting acquainted with this more often. And y Yoni Tormala, those two have managed to have a better finishing collected, combined finishing than anybody else with 181 points for Red Bull Racing. Um, I think that's, uh, Juan, I think that's the case for a lot of people. Karting has become outrageously expensive. It's it's hardly even a grassroots entry point into racing at this point. <laughs> 
Laser cutter, wouldn't that be good? Um, I think one reason, so laser cutter says that a, a level, a competition of this level, I'm putting some words in your mouth, you didn't say that entry point part, um, that full length races following the real life schedule would be a better scenario. And I completely agree. However, this is one of the only esports where they actually bring everybody to the exact same stadium. Here these guys all are on the on the platform, on the stage together for the races. And I think the only way to G- to logistically handle that is to break it into three or four events where they can afford to fly everybody in. Um, yeah, Devin, you're right. It's not so much that De- uh, Brendan's doing poorly as much as with that much money on the on the line. Look at how 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 much the competition has risen. Uh, but yeah, I think that this is a byproduct of having them do it in person. Uh, maybe in the future that's something they would do, but it would also make it a very long season for an eSport. One of the beauties of eSport is that we can compete on a much more condensed schedule uh, because of the logistics of our races. There's no real-life setup and, and dealing with human beings and you know all that other stuff. So, all right, what else to talk about? We have a lot to talk about today for a Friday. Um, Grid, think you're a racer? Hashtag like no other. It's almost time to prove it. Uh, The At Belong Arenas Grid Arena Cup begins tonight. This was posted six hours ago. There's still time to sign up and join the race for motorsport glory and big prizes. They have a link. So this is at the Grid-specific At Grid Game on Twitter. And you follow that link, and there's actually a proper sign-up page. Um, so you're going to want to fill that out. But yeah, if you're looking for some grid competition, want to win some big prizes, tonight could be entertaining for you there. Check it out. Check it out. NASCAR Heat just put a post up. This just kind of made me laugh, so we're not going to be here very long talking about. Uh, K, with a K officially. Uh, go kart with a C to me implies like one of those... They, things have changed with like K1 or, or Dromo 1 or whatever the indoor karting has gotten so high tech that it's almost earning its K. Uh, to me, go-kart with a C was like the kind of kid's kart you used to find at like arcades and, you know, uh, uh, miniature golf courses and things like that. But then it kind of went through a an upscale and now they're almost K with a cart. <laughs> yeah, to me. <laughs> uh What else? Okay, so this made me laugh. NASCAR Heat with their question on their Twitter page. Live Q&A session with the 704 Games team next week. Yes or no? Well, 83% of the people said yes. <laughs> uh, go Cat. What about Go Dog? Uh, GT Sport Nations Cup. Exhibition Series Season 2 begins, so if that's something that you either watch and are missing because they've been in their little off-season, or you're going to compete in, uh, it looks like things are starting up on November 13th through December 28th for 10 total rounds. In addition to that, the Manufacturing Series, we've, we reported on this last season for Season 1, but so Season 2 and both of those are kicking off November 13th, which means we're going to have another competition to keep our eyes on when we report on the news. This is uh, kind of just cool. This is at the Gran Turismo Twitter page. And this is, the race is pretty wild. Employees and drivers from the likes of Toyota, Subaru USA, and Mercedes-Benz teamed up with FIA GTC stars in the ultimate tag team battle. So they're showing off some of the video highlights from the manufacturer ex- exhibition in Tokyo. Um, and they have a couple of different videos there, and if you're a Gran Turismo fan, they'll be worth watching for sure, just to kind of uh, keep you smiling about things they do in Gran Turismo. And more importantly, the affiliations they have, I think, is the main thing to keep in mind. That you know they're one of the only game companies that could pull that off, that level of uh, 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 support from the manufacturers. All right, so has anybody been to Fanatic recently? Fanatic website. Um, Welcome to the new website. I I kind of was trying to get some images there when I was doing the podium review, and it was like right in the middle of them transferring and switching a website. It kind of caused me a little bit of a problem. But anyway, they're finally launching the new web shop, which is based on a more more modern platform and with a fresh design. 
We're glad to hear so much positive feedback about the new design already. We have been hardworking fix, fixing the last few issues that have appeared during the transition period. Few known issues, blah, 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 blah. And there are several more bugs we need to fix and things we want to improve, blah, blah. Uh, feel free to leave comments or suggestions. Report bugs at their community page. And if you haven't seen it, this is what the new website looks like. Um, yeah, it's okay. I have no issue with it. It It's a little simple compared to the original one in terms of when you're trying to get information. It's not as easy to just get straight up information so i'm not sure if they're watching i think it looks good and it works good i like its interface um but yeah i i feel like it was easier to find certain information uh if you guys are listening so anyway nice job though uh i like to show off eye candy this one comes to us from rick motak the bavarian styled i haven't heard the word bavarian used to describe D bmw um Anybody out there? I mean, I kind of gave it away. What does BMW actually stand for? How many people know that? Do young people have any clue what BMW stood for? What it meant? Why it has a blue and white checkered thing? Anyway, this is a gorgeous looking wheel. Um, I love the M Motorsport uh, BMW uh, stripes on the top. That's just cool. Do you need it? No. But does it look cool? Heck yeah. Um, I like that it's a real wheel and it's a round wheel. Uh, you guys know I like round wheels more than anything else. So, um, anyway, uh, and and since nobody else chimed in, uh, it's BMW is Bavarian. Bavarian Motor Works, right? Correct me if I'm wrong. And if I'm not mistaken, the blue and white uh, a triangle thing is supposed to uh, represent a propeller. Yes, yes, Techware, it's a propeller. Bavarian Motor Works. There you go, there you go. Race line. Did I? I didn't. I didn't wait long enough. Bring my wine. Anyway, great looking wheel. Cool. I, that could be a nice way to round out a DD wheel. All right, we have a new countdown. We're gonna be able to watch this one for the next couple weeks. November twenty second is the date. Two weeks, fourteen days, thirty six minutes away. From the autumn sale, they're calling it, but we call it the Black Friday sale, don't we? This is Steam we're talking about. Um, I'm reminding everybody out there that it is Black Friday and Cyber Monday are both coming, which means almost everything you can imagine at some point is going to be on sale coming up. So at this point, I don't care if you're talking about Sim Wheels, sim games regular games a new car a new tv uh everything is going to be on sale in 14 days so just get ready i wouldn't i'd be what i'm saying what i'm getting at is be careful what you buy right now because you might be able to get a really good deal if you have just a little bit of patience right now <laughs> <clears throat> Yeah, where is that new Porsche Fanatic rim? David, bring on the pain. Uh, what else? All right. I think this kind of gives us a clue that we're getting towards Christmas. We were joking about Christmas decorations already coming out. Ugh. Uh, the gamer talking about Crash Team Racing. Nitro Fuel heads to the circus this week. Um, two things. I, You know, we talk about gaming, uh, racing disappearing but look you know they're still making racing titles for the kids on the consoles um and this is how new fans of racing believe it or not some kid is going to get this game for christmas and in three four years maybe he's 12 year old phenom on iRacing. uh this is a gateway game to what we do crash team racing here we've got reunite with garfield and friends and garfield k cart furious racing on xbox one again holiday season and again motorsport gaming to kids and again some kid's gonna get this game at christmas and in three years he's gonna be a 12 year old phenom on f1 2020 well, two <laughs> playstation universe exclusive mini motor racing x announced for psvr and ps4 
Mini motor racing. Is motorsport dead? I don't know. I like this little overhead view with the wheel and the hands and the little mini moto track that's going around. Um, oh, look, you could use an RC controller with the overhead of the mini moto going around. Back to a steering wheel type scenario. Kind of a cool looking game. Uh, this looks like a modern version of some games that I really, really loved when I was younger. And Mini Motor Racing. Some kid's going to get this for Christmas. And in three years, he's going to be the Assetto Corsa Competizione champion. Mark my words. No. Uh, TGG. The Egg. <coughs> They're talking about Transport Theme Tycoon Sim. Transport Fever 2. Coming to Steam on December 11th. So if you're looking, it looks like this is going to cover everything. Boats, trucks, trains, planes. Um, I like a lot of these type of games. We talk about Euro Truck. Does it, is there a way to include all four into one game? Or are we talking about needing a level of sophistication that says, no, nope, it's going to need to be one or the other. Um, or do you think this is going to end up being more of a, we don't have a lot to, to say, uh, or is it going to end up being a lot more on the administration side of things and less on the actual doing like a, a tycoon type game, um, which could be very cool. Uh, I don't know if you could combine all forms of transportation on a sim planes, trains, and automobiles. Absolutely. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. All right, what else? What else do we have to talk about? I got to be careful how fast I scroll or we get through too fast. Actually, I don't have that many more things to talk about. Dirt Rally 2.0 now available as free trial version. I think I mentioned this already, but it was posted just yesterday at GT Planet. Uh, this is for the PS4 and the Xbox One version. So if you haven't played it and you happen to have a PS4 and Xbox One, you can play the trial version as of now and check it out. That's another way to do it. Ships. It's a tycoon. Tycoon games. I, man, I have to stay away from tycoon. I get into a tycoon game and I can lose myself for a scary amount of time and then that would ruin everything in my life. <laughs> the first transport fever is decent. All right, cool. On sale for seven bucks. And I bet it's going to be even cheaper on Black Friday or Cyber Monday in 14 days. Hmm. So, um, what else do I want to talk about today? Forgive me, I'm just moving some screens around. Uh, what else? Okay. Why is this on my screen? We already talked about that. We went back in time. That's why. All right. So this is a radical article at WBOC.com of all places. But World's Fast Gamer launches a YouTube series on Torque Esport-owned Let's Go Racing channel. So this is a whole other form of entertainment involving, oh, so scary, World's Fastest Gamer and Let's Go Racing and having a whole 10-part YouTube series taking viewers behind the scenes. Let's Go Racing Channel recaps 12-day USA Motorsport Tour. Um, this is what we were talking about, uh, that James Baldwin uh, uh, won. Do you remember, I think we showed the shot of the rooftop where the, the they had all the rigs. We talked about the guys racing in those very dis unique race cars at like Willow Springs and a few other places. Anyway, apparently they filmed the whole thing, turned it into a 10-part a, a YouTube series, and we have a link here. So the teaser is on YouTube, and then episode one of World's Fastest Gamer right here at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. So we are at Let's Go Racing on YouTube, and it's we join the gamers at Las Vegas Speedway and Penthouse Behind the Scenes of World's Fastest Gamer, Season 1, Episode 1. Um, you know, I didn't even think of this before this topic came up, but 
you know, one version of eSport is the competitive side. Think of uh, the MMA shows where they put everybody in the house or the Big Brother or Survivor or the entertainment value of that kind of thing. Well, it looks like with World's Fastest Gamer, this might be the direction they're going. Yes, we'll compete in these eSport competitions and we'll have our own put them all in one house and see what kind of fights break out kind of competition as well. That could be the future of our sport too. Who knows? Who knows? MotoGP eSport talking about, yeah, Ultimate Fighter. Thank you, Christian. Billy has a new video. We're going to have to go look for Billy's new video. I'll show you how to find Billy's new video. How is, isn't that even better? MotoGP eSport talking about the Global Series Round 3 engines on the on for the title showdown. Um, I have not tuned into a single event, but if any of you guys know, you should just know that uh, Valencia on Friday, November 15th is when that event is going to happen. Um, 100 for that. <laughs> um, furries racing at convention? <laughs> hey, Raceline, have a good day at work. Happy Friday to you. Uh, Race Department reports that finally the American Truck Sim Utah has been released. American Truck Sim Utah released. So we've been waiting on this one. We got that little patch before the release. Everyone probably suckered into thinking, oh my god, it's updating. We've gone through that on iRacing before as well. Um, I remember yesterday when they did an update, everyone thought maybe it was going to be AI. But it turns out that it was actually uh, just an update to the Skippy which they've fixed and is back again. That's news. I don't have that. So if you didn't know, over the last 24 hours, we lost the Skippy. And if you went to drive it in a series that you've been running in, it was gone. We ran it in a hosted session, uh, which they advised against, but it worked out just fine. And <laughs> where is there to go in Utah? Um, well, that's the thing. There's a lot to go through in Utah um, in a truck sim. And then, uh, lo and behold, they've fixed it. So the Skippy is back, which is good news for us racing it tonight. Um, so, all right, let's move along. Uh, if you guys do video, hey, you're looking for a new job? Slightly Mad Studios, you know them. Come on, Project Cars franchise. They're looking for a Project Cars 3 video director. Slightly Mad Studios looking for a Project Cars 3 video director. Yes, I repeated myself. That's right. Apply via this link. So this, I found the story at B-Sim Racing. I'm sure you can find it at the Slightly uh, Mad Studios webpage. And they have a whole what they're looking for and what the requirements are. And if you're interested, you could apply. You could have your dream job working for Slightly Mad. Oh, eye candy time. We're going to get back to finding Billy Strange Racing. I'll give you how to find it. Billy Strange Racing on YouTube. We're going to do that in just a moment here. But um, right here, we're looking at the Precision Sim Engineering. These guys make some of the nicest. Extremely expensive, though. Outrageously expensive. This is their big announcement for 2020. The LM-X wheel. Um, knobs, buttons, switches, dials, LEDs screens carbon fiber it's the whole deal that's beautiful beautiful uh do we have a price on such a beautiful incredible wheel oh 2500 euro ouch is right that's what it says right here in the write-up uh they make the best i mean you want to you want a wheel more expensive than a lemons car <laughs> there you go there you go that could round out your rig perfectly what else uh, all right, let's go to the opposite. Just check out some people's setups here. Um, it's, <laughs> this guy is showing the true budget. That is a wheel. Man, when was the last time you guys, seriously, this is posted by Varial Warcraft. When was the last time you saw a wheel and a shifter bolted to a desktop and a pair of pedals down on the ground? <laughs> oh i'm sorry i don't mean to laugh ariel in fact i applaud you 100 percent because you do whatever you have to do to race and i'm always telling people you don't have to you don't have to go this route in sim racing to be doing it right to be doing it in right 
in sim racing that is all you need i'll give him credit triple screens and his monitors are pretty close to his wheel he's got a great perspective um ricky j sports says sean what is my favorite meal of all time the answer to that question are you ready for this eggs benedict there you go um that's tm's most expensive wheel combo yeah it's not a bad setup at all he's he's riding there so i'm actually quite impressed and you can unbolt it and put it on the floor and put your keyboard there and get back to school work he's talking about being in a uni university so anyway here's a nice looking setup here you got a next level racing f1 f1 gt thrustmaster formula rim that's the modern formula rim it looks like yep it sure is and uh one of them wide screens gotta like the wide screen and he is dug in what is that oh that's a stand for an lcd look at that you guys look at this stand for an lcd that's pretty trick and you can see his aussie or euro he's got a second look at the he's got a phone right there a tablet there a tablet there that's crazy He's got a couple other formula he's got a couple other uh thrustmaster rims over here he's got a handbrake and a shifter gloves nicely done um this one was by nika nikax damon nikax damon anyway great looking setup there i like that one a lot that's good motivation inspiration and then look at this one this one gets the aesthetic beauty i you know you gotta like backlighting um it just gives it a cool glow i need to tofi has always been pushing me to get some cool backlighting i i gotta reconsider i think look at that we need a little glow we need a little glow when we're racing i think i have so many lights in here i think it'll overpower it but we'll give it a try anyway finally got the new rig installed that is an r seat rs1 with an r seat stand and a beautiful look at that widescreen I want one of those so bad, but I've heard they don't do great with streaming. That's why Sean can't have one. Um, anyway, that is pretty much it for the news. Um, let's real quick, let's go ahead and YouTube Billy Strange Racing. And that's where we'll find him on YouTube. And if we go to videos... His latest video is a Seto Corsa mod preview, Touring Car Legends. So you can check that out on Billy Strange Racing. Um, we're going to skip the ad. Sorry, Billy. And you can find out his take on the the Touring Car Legends pack for the Assetto Corsa mod. In addition to that, looks like just yesterday he did a grid part five in the GT Group 2. So you can check that out. Big fan of Billy Strange Racing. We miss him here on the show for Beyond the Sim on Fridays. And someday we'll get another episode of that. And beyond that, last thing I'm going to finish with today, um, RGB wall is VR ready. <laughs> um, RGB wall? Theodore? Uh, yes, yes, we were talking about doing an RGB wall. Yes, for my, like, blue and orange instead of fabric. Ad blocker. What ad did I show? <laughs> uh anyway so tonight we have road america in the skippy the sim pit skippy series david grunnell leading the way with three of three wins tonight is race number four at road america uh should be a completely different kind of race from what we saw at phoenix and Orn park but the car is still really dangerous for three laps i mean really dangerous don't know what they changed to the car Everybody is going to have to make a quickie uh, check on how the car is running, and I'm going to be running on a Simu Cube 2 Pro wheel, hopefully, and we're going to get down to business on mounting that wheel here in just a, a little bit. So that is going to do it for today. Uh, I hope you guys had a great week. Hope you have an even better weekend. I will be here Monday morning despite it being a holiday, so you guys might have the day off, but I will not. I will be here. We will be doing some other things over the weekend as well. If you ever have ideas, suggestions for the show, news, things you think we need to talk about, be sure to email me, Sean, S-H-A. 
A-U-N at thesimpit.com, and I will always add it to the show. You can help be one of the stars of the next show coming. Beyond that, thumbs up, subscribe, tell a friend, do all that good stuff. Beyond that, get out there and do some racing. This is the Sim Pit. I'm Sean Cole, and I'll see you on the track.